All right, so a lot of you have been asking me in the comment section how to install this particular ROM on Mi 11X, how to install that particular ROM on Mi 11X. So I thought, let's make a universal flashing guide which will apply to most of the Android 12 based custom ROMs. It will work on Android 11 as well, but there are some tips and tricks which you should follow in order to ensure that you don't return a boot loop or don't lose your data. So before we get into the complete guide, if you haven't already, please subscribe and hit the notification bell icon because it doesn't cost you anything and it really motivates us to make amazing content content like this. If you think you like chatting with like-minded people, join us on Telegram. We have more than 1300 people with similar devices. You can follow us on Instagram, Twitter and Facebook. And last but not the least, if you think the hard work is worth the effort, please click on the join button and support the channel. Now without further ado, hello awesome people, welcome to Phone Ops. My name is Kalash, let's get going. Now today as an example, we're going to talk about Spark OS, the latest build of this particular OS. I'm going to show you how to install it step by step. But before that, let's talk about the rules and regulations of flashing a custom ROM. Of course, you need to have a Mi 11X, which has more than 50% battery, all of your data backed up. You need to have an unlocked bootloader and a TWRP installed. Now in this case, we are using the latest TWRP 3.6-11 for this particular device, which is already flashed. Now with every particular custom ROM, there are different set of rules, very, very slight deviations, but yes, they are present. For example, if you look at Spark OS, this is the description of this particular update. It says Spark OS 12S Storm Official Android 12. Download, this is the size, screenshots, change log. You can have a look at the change log if you want to know what is going on and what is not going on. That's not important in this particular video. What is important is the flashing guide over here. So every ROM has this. Now this particular method that you see, it will apply to each and every custom ROM which will flash through TWRP for this particular device. It says reboot to TWRP if you've not installed it, installed. Install the ROM zip and make sure you have enabled TWRP auto flash. I will show you what that is and make sure you have the twrp.img file in case auto installation doesn't work. So you have to make sure that you've copied the twrp image file in the phone's internal memory or your flash drive, whatever you're going to use. You need to reboot to twrp, format data, and then you can install Majisk or DFE, whatever works for you. Right, so in our case, we are going to flash two files over here. We're going to flash the firmware, which is of course necessary. So remember, whenever you flash a custom ROM, a firmware is a must before you actually go ahead and flash the ROM, and we will flash the ROM with GApp. So if you're flashing a vanilla version, make sure you will have to flash GApps as well. So with the type of flash that you're doing and the ROM that you're flashing, the rules will change a little bit here and there. In this case, we need the firmware and we need the ROM with GApps built in. So we don't need a GApps file separately. So with all taken care of, you need to ensure that your data is backed up. That is very critical. And before you go to flash, make sure that you've removed your lock screen, your fingerprint, your face unlock, you've removed your MI account, all your Google accounts and all those things, all right? Now, once you've taken care of all of those, let's reboot into TWRP. Press and hold volume up and power to boot into TWRP. Now we are in TWRP. So the first thing that you need to do is you need to make sure that the internal storage is detected. In our case, it is detected. In case it isn't, don't panic. Just grab a OTG cable and pen drive. It will get detected, right? So for that, you need to go to select storage and select that over here. But in this case, it's detected. So nothing to worry. First thing we'll do is we'll go to advanced wipe. Dalvik data. Don't wipe internal storage. That's where your files are. Okay. Done. Now, first we will flash the firmware. So swipe to confirm flash. Wait for the firmware to flash. Okay. And now go to install again and select the Spark OS ROM. Select this. Now, ideally, you would have an option over here which will tell you reflash TWRP after flashing the ROM. It is not present in this 3.6 update. So don't worry. You need to go ahead and manually install TWRP after this. I will show you how to do that. For now, let's quickly go ahead and flash the ROM. Now, ROMs normally take about one to two minutes to flash. And if it's an MIUI ROM, it might take two to two and a half minutes. So please be patient while the flash is done. All right, now, as you can see, the ROM has flashed successfully. You can ignore these errors. It is always a good practice while flashing ROMs to go through these logs to ensure that you don't have any problem. Now, we're not going to reboot yet. Remember, as you see over here, I've connected a pen drive because I had not copied the recovery file into the phone's internal storage, thinking that this particular recovery will have that option. 
So now what we need to do is we need to go to advanced. Okay, select the option called install recovery RAM disk. Okay, select storage because our file is on the OTG over here. That's loaded. Now, as you can see this, Elliot IMG, select this, swipe to confirm flash. We are reflashing the recovery to ensure we don't get a boot loop or we don't have a failed flash of this custom ROM. Okay, as you can see, the recovery has been flashed. Again, ignore these errors. So what we'll do now is reboot and recovery to ensure that recovery has flashed fine and ignore this error. So let's come back to recovery over here. There you go, we've booted back into TWRP. Now go to wipe, select format data and type in yes. All right, now we are ready to boot into the system. You can flash Majisk if you need and you need to ensure that apart from the ROM, if you're flashing any other files, you don't need to have the check mark enabled for flash TWRP again after flashing this file, right? So reboot and select system. Now at this point, what I would recommend is you're done with the ROM installation process, be it any ROM, make sure that the ROM boots fine, set it up, then boot into TWRP and flash Majisk or whatever files you need. Let's wait for the ROM to boot up. There you go, you have the beautiful Spark OS logo, which means our flash has been successful. Let me go to the setup screen to ensure that we are not in a boot loop. Okay, just like that, we have booted into the ROM. There is no need to set this up. I'll probably review this later, but all in all, this is a step-by-step -step guide to install any custom ROM based on Android 11 or Android 12 for the Mi 11X. It's a little confusing. That's the reason I thought that a guide is required for this particular device. Let me know in the comment section if this video was helpful and if it was, please subscribe, like, and share. Until the next one, this is Kalash signing off with 4 Ops. Keep smiling, take care, goodbye.